excited to get my hands on five of these. I know there's a total of 20 of these lipstick shades. According to the website, these are Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick and they retail for 20 bucks a pop. These are supposed to be full coverage, intense pigment, and a matte finish in an easy to apply liquid formula. It's supposed to be long wearing that says all day super ultra pigmented. You're supposed to swirl the one around before you apply this on your lips. So the color that I picked up was Karina American Doll Pure Hollywood Vintage and Lovely. So first color that I'm going to swatch for you guys is Pure Hollywood and this is like a nudey color. Ooh, and this is how the packaging looks like. I haven't even actually looked at it yet, but it looks like this. It, it's some um, like, I, I don't know, glass, I think. Super cute packaging. It says Anastasia right in front of it and with rose gold around this and a silver top. It looks like really nice quality. And does it really? It's got a scent, but it's not really noticeable. So this is Pure Hollywood. Here is Pure Hollywood. It's like a really nice neutral nude with like almost a hint of pink in it. Next color is Lovely. And this one is more on the pinkier side. Here is Karina. Karina is, I love this color. Karina is like, like a bright pinky red with a hint of coral in it. Next, we've got American Doll. This is like a deep, perfect pure red. Last one is Vintage. This is like a straight up deep purple, vampy kind of color. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of these lipsticks and just see how it wears because they claim to be long-lasting, super pigmented, and all that good stuff. By the end of the night, I will come back and catch up with you guys to let you know what my thoughts and opinion are for these lipsticks and also do um, lip swatches of each of them so you guys can get a better view of how the colors look like on my lips from light to dark. All these colors are like so freaking pretty. I don't know which one to swatch on my lips. I know that one of the most popular colors so far is uh, Pure Hollywood. I've been seeing that like everywhere, like I mean everywhere on Instagram and like maybe those lips. Should I swatch this one and show you guys how this one wears? I really really like Karina too. It's such a pretty, pretty pinky red. Gosh. Uh, maybe I would try the Pure Hollywood for you guys because this is such a popular color that for those of you who are iffy, maybe this will help you guys to decide because I know that everybody loves like a perfect nude. Alright guys, let's put this baby on my lips. Hmm. Oh, you're supposed to swirl it. <laughs> I forgot. So what do you guys think? You guys like it? You guys like this nude on me? I feel like it doesn't really wash me out. I really like it actually. It's got like some color to it. So here is a close-up of Pure Hollywood on my lips. I actually kind of like it. Um, it hasn't fully set yet because I can still smack my lips. So. So I'm gonna go ahead on with my day and it is 5 p.m. right now and I'm gonna go to Target and go run some errands with my sister and Lila and I will check back with you guys but in the night to see how this lipstick wears. Catch you guys later, bye! Hey guys, so I am back to do a quick little update and review on the liquid lipstick and I did eat a Taco Bell today, I had like a burrito, I had a quesadilla. I had a smoothie, I had some juice, I had candies, I had some cookies, crackers. So I practically much went all out um, just kind of to test this out and also to see um, how this would wear like. Looking at it right now, this liquid lipstick has 
it's kind of worn off. I think I should have worn or tested this out in one of the red ones or one of the darker ones that I bought. I don't think you guys are able to really see um, how this lipstick lasts just because this is a blending in with my natural lip color. So you can't tell, but yeah, if you take a closer look at my lips, you can see that it has worn off. There are little cracks around my lips, but for some odd reason, when I was wearing this lipstick throughout the day, it didn't feel drying, even though it's a matte lipstick. It felt really nice on the lips, like I was able to actually smack them together without worrying of my li about my lips like peeling. I'm just gonna go ahead and reapply this on again just to see if it would apply well as a second layer after like a couple of hours. Shake this baby up around. Gotta be careful. So you can obviously tell how much it's faded away just from licking from one side of my lip to the other side. It applies really nice as a second layer. I really like it. I've tried one on for the day and I love it. It wasn't too matte for me, although these are, they dry to a matte finish. I love the colors, the payoff is great, pigmentation is awesome, super opaque, nothing light for sure at all. You're not gonna get that for any of these lipsticks. I swatched all of them for you guys, as you guys just seen, and they come off beautifully. Now, I will say that they are really, really, really hard to remove. You're gonna have to use, I had to use a makeup remover wipe <laughs> just to remove all of the lipstick off and I had to literally like rub my lips like super hard even with the makeup remover so these will stay on your lips all day I guarantee you unless you're eating crazy like me earlier than like the nude one then it's just gonna be patchy and come off here and there or so but yeah besides that I hope you guys found this review helpful and I will catch you guys on my next video bye